Hi guys, welcome to this video about how you can see the level of the red tide in Florida at the moment. So, I don't know what you have already seen or read about the red tide in Florida. It's a really bad thing going on. If you live in Florida, you will probably know about this. If you live in US, maybe uh, in other parts of US or the world or Europe or wherever, maybe not. And if you're planning to go to Florida for a holiday, you have to be really careful because, because especially here now on the West Coast, it can even it can uh, be quite devastating and your beach experience uh, will turn into a nightmare it outside it can look like this beaches look like this and the smell is terrible and you can even when you think you would <laughs> be able to accept something like this you cannot be at the beach uh, it's it's uh, smelling terrible so and the water is I mean it's uh, it's not deadly but uh, I mean it will kill fish and even bigger fish who eat, which eat uh, smaller fish and the problems with breathing are extremely uh, it's almost impossible to breathe not only because of the smell just because of the um, I don't know there's some uh, special thing now in the air and uh, it's it's almost impossible to breathe so you will have to cough all the time so definitely it's g a good thing to know about this thing and where you can find information about and here we have the my FWC I will put down the link uh, into the description um, yeah here we have the red tide current status about Florida here you can see last week the trend where is it going up where is it going down it does not say much about the current levels here we see the current levels uh, you can even go on a higher uh, on a, on a uh, bigger map and you can scroll a little bit into that but it's difficult you you can't see much more so uh, I think the best option at the moment is the Google Earth um, here we have the links uh, the link to the Google Earth map and here we have the um, I think that's a that, uh, <laughs> that's a file which you can download and open with Google Earth, and then you can see much more details. Uh, that's a really good thing. So we can click on that and we download it to anywhere, yeah. And then we click on the Google Earth website, and that's. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it just opens in German for me all the time. I cannot, uh, I still don't know how to change that. But here you say uh, it, it, it's it's pretty much uh, similar in English. So you can just click on Google Earth to start Google Earth. It will, if it's the first time you do it, it will give you some introduction because. Yeah, usually uh, Google Earth is, uh, is, is uh, usually something you used uh, or you uh, were used to use it da downloaded standalone application. So, but they have improved have improved it much, so you can use it now online. That's the good thing. Okay, what do we need? We have to import this file, and uh, this is here. That's the thing. Uh, I open, uh, close this again on the left side. My places, that's the thing. And import. If you don't have an import button here, go to the settings here, and then you can go down to I think it's the most bottom uh, 
uh, yeah, option at the very bottom. You can turn it on here, save, and then you get an additional option here, uh, import KML, and we have two possibilities. We, we can open from, from Google Drive or local. So I open local. Um, so I select my file here and so now we can see all the detailed uh, levels uh, when you go into that you can zoom in zoom out move around um, it already gives you a basic idea be uh, based on the colors um, the darker or the more red it is the higher the concentration of the red tide so if you go down you can see this one has no red tide or very very low so you see you can do go down to Naples where it's actually coming from it, it it's there almost since one year and it was coming from this area and it's still there at most places very few places where it's not uh, present so we can close this actually or we can uh, save um, Okay, so yeah. It, by the way, if you if you want to disable this, you can go to my places, and here we have all the things you have saved or what you have here in your bookmarks or imported. And here you you have an eye, and when you click on the eye, then you have a crossed eye, and the values will go away. Actually, I don't know why. They don't go away at the moment. Yeah, it took a little bit of time. <laughs> okay, so when we click again on this icon, it will come back or should come back. So if you if you, and if you want to import this uh, a new file, you can import a new file, of course. So it, it it's again here. The thing is, what when you click on these things, just a small windows will open you can't make it bigger but you can scroll down and you will find information about location like here we have a uh, little bookila i don't know never heard about this and when you go go down 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 you see it is very low and uh, yeah surprisingly here in the area concentration is usually very high that it's very low I hope that's true here we have some low uh, red tide areas here we have a lot and then if we go further north from about honeymoon island uh, on then it's getting better so here we have Palm Harbor where the values are still yeah they are around they're low yeah yellow is low so the most not uh, northern part which is high or medium I think it's clear water at the moment that's medium and this is the northern part of clear water beach that's already low I think here here is the um, yeah border so and it's but it's it, it's usually starting to spread out further north so here I don't know probably it's safe around crystal river not present and but if you go towards new orleans and so then it uh, you will have a lot of beaches where, where it's present so yeah unfortunately uh, it's all along these nicest beaches on the florida gulf coast and yeah it's changing day by day or uh, week by week but i think it won't go away anytime soon it will go the levels will go up and down a little bit but they won't disappear fully for next couple of weeks or months unless we will have a really strong storm like a small hurricane or something which would push these bad things offshore you can see on the west side, uh, east side, sorry, east side of Florida, this thing is not present. So, yeah, it's definitely 
more safe if you want to book something more here or down key west i've never heard that it has been in key west lately so but the whole stretch here um yeah i wouldn't do uh booking for next couple of weeks or months uh in this area definitely we have been spared out in tampa bay for quite some time it just came up here a couple of weeks ago we have been safe for quite some time but now it's here and it doesn't look like it will disappear so yeah back to google earth it's a good thing it's awesome i will keep this here so but i will probably disable for the moment and now it doesn't do anything is it locked yeah i think there are quite some values uh, i i think there are 270 uh, measurements and uh, it takes some time even for google earth to enable and disable things and um, it's a good thing to 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 see that i have seen another map but i couldn't find this so i think with google earth it's a pretty good thing and it's anyway a good thing to get used to google earth especially when it's available online you don't have to download this huge thing i don't know uh, how, how big it was it, it was really big so it's definitely an advantage with that and the plugin i will put down the link again to the description you can just click on that and start from there so i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time Bye.